Lexington is getting ready for the primaries, but it is going to cost the city money. The Lexington Election Board wants Registrar Janet Beebe to maintain extended office hours in the days leading up to next year's two primaries, but is asking the state to fund the added hours. This would cost over $3,000. The board also says that this amount of work justifies a full-time registrar. Lexington fears that the state is close to mandating the position. City Manager John Ellistad says that this would cost the city twenty-five to $33,000 it doesn't have. The electoral board's budget is about fifty-seven thousand dollars. This would increase their budget by about fifty percent. Right. So, it's a for us, it's a significant financial issue in addition to an operational issue. Ellisted sent a letter to the state board of elections about the financial issue. He asked the city council and the local electoral board to take a uniform stance on the issue. City council member David Cox strongly opposes the possible mandate as well as other unfunded mandates. They are the bane of local jurisdictions existence. Um, they are a very easy way for legislators to claim that they're doing something without having to pay for it on the state level. Uh, and uh, I have been complaining about these for years. Mayor Mimi Elrod agrees with Cox and thinks other council members do too. I think it's important to, ex to distinguish between the concept of doing it and the money it requires in an unfunded way. So I think most council, or most council members would not want to increase the time allowed for the um, registrar. Elrod doesn't anticipate a mandate from the state until February, but with general elections coming up in a few weeks and the primaries a few months away, the request for additional hours or a full-time position could be a struggle for the city's budget. I'm Chelsea Stevenson reporting for the Rockbridge Report.